Hi, welcome to my channel, Taco Yakitero. Today is April 12th, 2024. My last video was uh, yesterday, actually. I actually posted two videos yesterday, so... Um, I don't know if I'm going to be posting two videos today, but for the sake of... The readings, we'll just say this is going to be my first video of the day, alright? So before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If they resonate with you, gives you clarity, great. But if it does not, then don't force it to be your story. Okay, um... So, I'm just going to... Start pulling some cards. Um, <clears throat> let me see. So good. All right, give me a second. Hold on. I'm going to start off with this deck. Wow. Okay, so there's somebody behind you, trailing behind you, or trying to get close to you, or watching you. All right, whoever this person is, for some of you, it's a karmic masculine, but for a majority of you, it's a karmic feminine. Whoever this person is, you don't even have to worry about it. I wouldn't really pay any mind because no matter what, you're protected. All right, the card that came out right behind that says, She's obsessed with you. So whoever this person is that is obsessed with you, I wouldn't worry about them. I'm not concerned about them. Um, you're protected. But somebody is like, yeah. It could be multiple she's as well or multiple he's. Like multiple women that are obsessed with you or multiple men that are obsessed with you. You know, you would have to take that how that... <laughs> how that resonates. All right, but um, I mean, I wouldn't be concerned about it. Not really, no. Okay. Be cautious of party invitations as well. Um, it seems like somebody is interested in inviting you to a party just for the sole purpose of embarrassing you at this party. Because I had a dream last night. There's something about a boat. Or like the, the docks of a boat. Right? Like the docks of a boat. Like, you know how when a boat pulls up to like a marina. Okay, like a marina kind of thing. You know, like those docks. Like that. And if you have kids, be careful with them around water and, like, docks. I don't know, okay? Or if you get invited to a party and the party's, like, on a boat or, like, there's, like, docks nearby. You know, just and if, you, if you have, like, kids, like, I don't know, just keep an eye out. Or even yourself, just, like, 
I don't know, be, be careful so you don't trip and fall or something in the water. Or something like that. I had a dream like that, okay? But anyway, so let's move on, right? So yeah, whoever this she is, whoever the she's are, the karmic she's, the karmic he's, they're obsessed with you. But, you know, again, don't worry about it because you're protected. Yeah, man, I had a dream where there was, like, a woman, and she was hosting a party. But here's the thing. She, like, invited me to a party, and she was, like, this is this is how, like, her invitation went to me. Like, she basically said, like, oh, you know, it's you don't have to, like, it's nothing fancy. You don't have to get dressed up or anything. It's just, like, a small, very intimate, you know, just, just you know, I mean, just inviting, like, one or two people, right? So I have went to the party dressed casually. But turns out this party, like the the woman that invited me, she invited like this person, this person, this person, this person. Like it was like actually a really big gathering, like a really big event. And everybody was dolled up and dressed up. And I was like wearing casual clothing, right? And it was just like a form of like trying to embarrass you. Like, oh, look at the collective. Look at what they're wearing. Everybody's wearing you know, gowns and suits and things like that. But the thing is, the party was near a dock. It was, like, near the docks. And it was, like, outside. Like a boathouse, kind of. It was like that. That's You know, like a boathouse, like, there's, like, docks and boathouses? That's what it, it's like. It's like, oh, like a boathouse, I think. That's where the dream was. All right, let me move on. I hear sirens right now outside. Also, um, okay, never mind. I'm not even gonna like. If it comes up, I'll tell you the rest of the dream. But I feel like it really has to do with just being cautious of like yourself or of your children around parties. Especially, like, where there's water, okay? Tap into, tap into your inner power. So, I, I feel like the she's that are obsessed with you, they're, um, one of the reasons why they're obsessed is because you're able to tap into your inner power, and for some reason, they cannot. So, the children that, the child that was represented in my dream could literally just be your inner child, your innocence, your ability to just, you know, children, they can just go from one project to another project, they can just, like, get a bunch of random toys and create something out of it, like, you know, that's something that you can do, probably. It's like, whoever the she's are, they want to, like, drown that out of you. They want to, like, get rid of that part of you. Or for some of you, it's he's, right? So you you could be a divine feminine, divine masculine. You would take that how that resonates, but... It's like, they in my dream, it was like I was supposed to be in... I was eating candy in my dream. Like, I'm always eating something sweet. Always something sweet. I was eating candy in my dreams, right? And I guess... So the whole point of that was so that I could feel, like embarrassed or like out of place right but I was just like whatever I'm just gonna eat my candy whatever whatever and um in the dream I don't know like there were so many people trying to like grab my attention or like have me focus on not my child in the dream and that wasn't happening for them like I was not really paying attention to them and in the dream, my child was at the edge of the water by the docks, right, on the docks. And next thing you know, they were gone. And I had, I just knew, and there were people swimming in the water too. Like nobody cared. So as soon as I saw that, I just jumped in the water, grabbed my child, and we both came out of the water. And then it wasn't until we both came out of the water that everyone was like, oh my God, oh my God, are you okay, are you okay? Right? But, like, nobody said anything 
when the child fell into the water or when I jumped into the water. Nobody did anything. Nobody said anything. No one is, was paying attention. It was only until after we both came up. And then everybody, because even when I had jumped into the water, I could still see people swimming and splashing around. And then when I, when I had pulled the child up and when I had came up as well, that's when the people stopped splashing around. And then they were like, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? So it's kind of like the wind is blowing really, really hard outside right now. It's kind of like nobody cares about the process, only the results, right? You know how like, it's like that. So somebody is obsessed with your results and the fact that they couldn't drown out. I don't know, your ability to go through the process. But um, yeah, tap into your inner power. You are protected. I feel like you're protected. Whatever it is that you're doing, however it is that you're doing it, you're protected from it. And you've got a bunch of she's that are obsessed with you. Karmic she's. Oh my gosh. The archangels have been summoned and they are here. Yeah, you're heavily protected. Yeah. You got archangels around you. They're protecting you. They're watching you. And there's nothing that these people can do. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing for you to be worried about. There's nothing for you to be concerned about. Just keep doing whatever it is that you're doing, right? Because at the end of the day, you already know that what these people want is just to embarrass you, to distract you, to, you know, get you to drown out that magic within you, that innocence, um, the ability to tap into your power. Nobody, you know, they're too focused on that. And it's only until after you create something or you're doing something that everyone's just like, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, or hey, you know, how's it going? Are you okay? What's going on? Well, right. What is this? Fourth house, cancer. Again, this card came out. It, it came out in yesterday's reading. So you could be a mother or you could just be very nurturing and loving and caring. Um, your ancestral patterns, where you go when you die, where you come from. The Yeah. So it's like people want you to forget who you really are by distracting you because this talks about the root base or the real self, like who you really are, who you truly are. I feel like these people, they want you to forget who you really are and what your purpose is by distracting you. But because it's not working, now they want to be all up in your face. Like, are you okay? Hey, how's it going? Are you okay? Hey, how's it going? It's like that. You know, it's like you didn't care before. You were too busy trying to embarrass me, trying to like distract me, you know, trying to invite me to like all these parties and, you know, you didn't care before. Now you want to care. That's interesting, right? There's, um, these people do not care about your sense of peace. They have no peace because I feel like the fourth house is also talking about like, you know, how you're able to, like, have peace. You know, like, if you have, like, a steady, safe, nurturing home, right, that's, like, the foundation of, like, how you're able to, like, find peace within yourself, right? That's a whole complicated thing because I know there's, like, but what ifs, what ifs, right? So I'm not really going to get into that, but, like, I feel like wherever you have peace, whatever you have peace, this could even be within yourself, like, your home as in, like, your, your body, your temple. You are peaceful within yourself you're nurturing yourself you're loving yourself you're taking care of yourself and i feel like these people didn't care about that before but now that you're doing that they want to be all up in your face are you okay are you okay how can i help you how can i help you do you need it it's like that it's weird right but weren't you just trying to embarrass me weren't you just trying to like distract me weren't you just trying to like remove the innocence within me like hello But anyways, like I said, the archangels have been summoned and they are here. God just sent them straight down, shooting like a rocket. And there's, they can be obsessed all they want, but they can't get close to you. Look, I don't know if you can see this, but, oh, my camera just did something funky. You see this, whoever is obsessed with you, it's like they cannot cross this. The archangels have been summoned, you are protected. They cannot, like, be around you while you're, like, doing whatever magic you're doing, summoning, um, I don't know why I said summoning, um, whatever, I don't know, whatever it is that you're doing, 
this person cannot like, I don't know, infiltrate or some shit like that. I'm not gonna get into that. I'm gonna just move on. Oh. I don't want to go to jail. <gasps> I don't want to go to jail avoiding justice. Somebody is trying to avoid something. Like, it could be going to jail. It could be physical jail or spiritual jail. And they're obsessed with getting close to you because they're afraid that something bad is really going to happen to them. And that's exactly why they are not being allowed near you. Because, and everybody knows that spiritually, everybody knows that that's the only reason why this person wants to get around to you. This person also feels like, if you, like, this person wants you to use your magic powers or whatever to, like, get them out of jail or to help them avoid going to jail or to help them avoid justice on your behalf. So if they could have done something to you, like, let's say, that, hypothetically speaking, right, let's say this person did something illegally to you, right, because they were obsessed and jealous, whatever, whatever. Now they want to be around you and help you convince the legal system, oh, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's like that right? That's the only reason why you're protected from this person, the she that is obsessed with you or the he that is obsessed with you. And that's the only reason why the archangels have been summoned. I mean, that's not the only reason why, but that's why you're being protected from this person because everybody knows that the only reason why this person is around or is trying to get around is because they don't want to go to jail. They're avoiding justice. And they know that. And you know that. We all know that. Okay? I don't want to go to jail avoiding justice. That's crazy. That's the only reason why this she is obsessed with you. Tricking because they got it. This person could be tricking. You know, they feel like, well, if I got it, I might as well make money off of it. Or if I got it, I might as well just use it. Or, you know, it's like, I got it, so why not? It's, it's you know, it's quick and easy money, right? It's like that for this person. There are so many reasons why this person, you're being protected from this person. There's so many reasons why. Mm. You know, if this person has this mindset of tricking because they got it, they could have said that about you, and now they're getting caught up in their tricking scams and, like, prostitutions and shit like that. And, you know, if they were saying that about you, and it's actually them, that's another reason why they're going to jail, because it's like, I I'm pretty sure in some places, prostitution is illegal. Right? I know, like, uh, in some states, it's illegal. I, I think California, that's crazy, right? Not California, but California is no good. That land is, it's not good, I'm telling you. No offense to anybody who lives there, but it's just not good. But anyways, um, so yeah, it could be something like that. That's like an example, all right? Whatever they did, they don't want to go to jail because of it. And it's like, well, if I just connect with the collective, maybe that they can they, they can convince or they can fix this or they can use their magic so that way I don't have to. That's Whatever is going on with them, that's not your problem. That's not your business, right? And it's like they only want you to drag you into something so that way they can get out of it. Let me repeat that. They only want you to help them drag them out of some sort of legal situation or some sort of trouble that they have created, and most likely, possibly, on your behalf, right? Tried to drag you into something, and it didn't work out, and now it's biting them in the ass, and now they need you, all right? This person is obsessed, and I, I keep picking up on this person, and it's because they, they, it's like they're hovering. It's like they're desperate. And it's like, no, and no matter how many times you attempt, you're not, you're not going to get what you want. I don't know what to tell you. You were meant to shine. So whatever this person did, they did a lot of things. And you could just shine brighter than this person. You're shinier, you're glitterier, you're brighter than this person. And that could have been one of the driven driving factors for whatever this person did. And, and it could be another driving factor of why they're so obsessed with you. It's like, why do they get to shine and I don't, right? So you were meant to shine, Collective, and I feel like they just, I don't know, they have an issue with that. 
right? They try to embarrass you, trying to like... But it's crazy too because in the dream, even though I was the only one dressed casually in the party, everybody still wanted to talk to me. Everybody wanted to talk to me. Everybody wanted my attention. Oh, collective, come over here. Oh, collective, let's talk about this. Oh, collective, oh, collective, right? Like everybody still wanted my attention, but at the same time, it's like you guys don't really care, you know? But I feel like that's another reason why this person is obsessed with you because people always want your attention. And nobody really cares about this person. Like they don't really, this is not somebody where they're just like, oh, let's, what's Karmic Feminine doing? Let's, let's talk to, nobody, it's, I, 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 know, I know that sounds really, really mean to say, but it's like, I don't know, it's, nobody wanted their attention or nobody wants their attention, nobody wanted their attention. There's like also, what wants to come out is nobody needs their attention either. You know, it's just not, and it's, it makes them mad, it makes them ill, and because it's like, I got invited to the party, but I was told that the party is very low-key kind of thing, you just, just, just casually, right, so I did that, and then I went to the party, and instead of being embarrassed, and instead of everyone mocking me and snickering, and oh my god, do you see the what the collective's wearing? It was just like, oh, collective, you know, let's, let's have a conversation, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. So if this person tried their hardest to embarrass you, it just, people still wanted to talk to you, right? I think I should move on now. I'll do one more shuffle, and then um, I'll move on to tarot. Puts money first. <laughs> I'm only laughing because uh, the one card that came out when I split the deck was tricking because they got it, right? Easy money, fast money. I might as well just use it. If I can make money off of it, I might as well do that, right? That's This person puts money first. So they could have done something illegally or spiritually that they should not have been doing um, for money that was, you know, and they tried to, like, implicate you in some way, and now they need you and your you know, skills or your magic or your knowledge or whatever it is to like help them get out of whatever mess that they created for themselves, you know, but they only got themselves in this mess because they wanted to put money first. And for some of you, they did this by trying to implicate you. And for some of you, they only did this because they want money. And now they need you to help them get them out of a mess that they created. That's why you're being protected from this person because whatever is going on, they want to drag you from your peace, pull you out of your peace, your abundance, your magic, whatever it is that you're creating, whatever it is that you're focused on, whatever your purpose is, they want to pull you out of that and like put you smack dab in the middle of Dramaville. Okie dokie. It's like, I know you're at peace over there, but you know, come help me fix my 20,000 messes. You know, and it's just like, what? He cannot be serious. And that's why the archangel is like, what? She cannot be serious. He cannot be serious. Like, there's no way we're going to let that happen. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, yeah. That's that. What time is it? Okay. I have time. Okay, let's see what we have here. The Fool, <laughs> Death in Reverse, and the World. Wow, all major arcanas.
So basically, this person took a leap of faith. They took a chance just for nothing to happen. And their finances to just... They they took... It's really about money. For, like, I don't know who this person is, this chick. But it's all about money for her. Money, money, money. You know, Mr. Krabs? Money, money, money. That's... She's basically... I just felt like there was like something stuck in my throat. <sighs> oh my god, wow. <clears throat> what was I saying? Um, money, money, money. Mr. Krabs. Yeah, this person is basically... <clears throat> Do you know how Mr. Krabs and Spongebob... Like, he's, like, obsessed with money, like, even down to, like, the very penny, right? The very, very penny. Money! Money, money, money! That's that's her. This is who this chick is. She's basically Mr. Krabs when it comes to money. And I feel like she, she did all of this just for her finances to, like, nothing to change with her finances. The fool, death reverse, the world. This is somebody who like worships money. It's like they put money above all else. This is also somebody who like, you need to be aware of this person, right? Because this is somebody who loves the world. And when it comes to people who love the world, it's, they don't, put it like this, you cannot love God and love the world at the same time. That's like a spiritual fact, all right? It's, you just can't because the world is against God, right? You it's, I don't, oh my God, I don't even know how to, I'm not going to get into that book. Wow, they did all of this for money just for nothing to change with their finances. And if they were doing this multiple times, like if they kept doing something for money, putting money first, right? It's like they kept doing it over and over and over and over and over again. And it's like nothing kept changing, nothing kept changing. It's like, I feel like whatever they were doing, it's done and over with. They cannot do this anymore. And if they're trying to like get around you, they cannot do, they can't. Whatever they're trying to do, it, it, it didn't, whatever they did, it, it didn't change anything. It didn't change anything with you. It didn't change anything with their finances. If anything, it just closed out whatever it is that, like, it's like the universe is like, all right, you're done. You're done doing this. That's crazy. They did all of this for money just for nothing to change with their finances. It's because this person loves the world. They put money first. Money, money, money. They're Mr. Krabs. Like, I know Mr. Krabs, he is like, he lives alone. And his daughter, Pearl, she is so rotten. And it's like, she's spoiled. Although she did have like, you know, she has a nice side to her when she went to the dance with SpongeBob. Right? But mostly she's kind of like a rotten whale, you know? But, um... Her name is Pearl. You know, she's not that bad. But, yeah. So, this is who this person is. Right? Let's move on. Ooh. Whatever this person did, they were definitely being watched. Yeah. Because, look, there's a, like, the sun is watching this person go towards or do whatever it is that they're doing. So everybody knew what this person was doing, at least spiritually. Like, God knew what this person was doing. This God was giving them, like, the side eye, like, mm. So this is what you're doing behind my collective's back or to my collective? Mm. Right? And now, and then God's like, mm. All right. <laughs> 
archangels go towards my collective because they're not about to go do this like whatever it is that they're doing it's done they can't do this anymore so god put an end to this it's crazy because this person like they really thought that this would work out for them they really thought like like i said this person loves the world right they put money first they don't love god but i'll tell you something they have faith in money to them money is god to this person right to this she so they truly wholeheartedly believed with everything in their body that whatever is in there that they could believe in that this would work out for them because it was money to them money is like like i don't know because they can see it and feel it and smell it and utilize it it's it's real hold on okay so yeah what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, this is a person, like, you know how, like, on the coins, like, on quarters and things like that, and dollar bills, and says, in God we trust. To them, it's like, in money we trust, or these people, right? I'm telling you, like, they just, they do that. They put money first. But, um, that's why they're not, a, like, that's why they cannot be around you. But it's crazy, too, because it's like, whoever these people are, whoever they, so they put money first, and you put God first, they, they cannot be around you. Right? They've just proved, they've just shown God that they don't believe in him, they don't love him, they, they want money, they only care about money. Right? So why, and so again... If they only care about the world, because money is the world, right? If they only care about that, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't because obviously you need money to, like, pay your bills and, you know, food and, you know, finances or maybe to even just, like, have a night out or whatever the case it is. But, I mean, like, to, like, make it your everything and your only goal and your only dream and your only purpose and your own life, like, make it the only thing that drives you and, like, you put all your faith into money, God is like, why would I let you be around my collective? That makes no sense. So that's why you're, this person is not allowed to be around you. They're not allowed. It's like there's like a decree. I decree these karmics are not allowed. My collective, right? It's like that. There's like ash everywhere. So you could have climbed out of the ashes of something, like a phoenix being reborn. I also feel like if they did this to change things in your life, nothing happened. If anything, it, this, whatever they were trying to do, it just, it just stopped. Like it just ended. I also, you know what I'm getting to? If they were in the process of like, let's say like a diabolical plan, right? Let's be dramatic with it by using the word diabolical. If they were in the process of doing something to you on behalf of like financial gain, it just stopped in the media, it, like in mid, mid plan, it just stopped. It's kind of like you're playing a video game, blah, 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 right? And like you're a little bit halfway or more than halfway and somebody just unplugs it and you didn't, even, you didn't even get a chance to save the game and like your mom comes in and just unplugs the game like from the wall and all of that progress is just lost. That's what that this is like right here. All of the progress that they made was for nothing. Because God just came and unplugged it. God's just like, all right, that's enough of that. Let's put an end to that, right, with the world. All right, let me move on. This is what's going on on their end. Behind this person, this is what's going on. This is what I'm talking about. They want to bring all of this to you. They want to, like, bring it over to your end, to your side. It's not happening. Oof. Oh, wow. There's, what is it? The Hermit, the Tower Reverse.
Yeah, they're trying to. This is this is this person. The seven of swords reverse. This is so crazy because it's like everybody sees what you're doing. Everybody knows what you're doing. This person got caught doing whatever it is that they were doing. They got caught, and it's like if it, if there was something illegal out here, everybody knows what they did. The justice system, the community, like you got caught. Everybody sees it. But this person is still trying to figure out a way with the Hermit and the Tower Reverse how to get out of this. And in their mind, they're like, oh, I know. Let me just go towards the collective because if anyone can help me get out of the going to jail, it's the collective. And that's why, like, <laughs> it's, it's funny because... All right, put it like this. Like, there's an apple on the table and there's a camera right pointing the entire room. This person goes into the room, they steal the apple and there's evidence of it, footage of it, that they stole the apple. Everybody knows that, they, they stole the apple. But now they wanna be like, oh, collective, um, I need your help, I need your help, you know? What do you need my help? I, there's nothing the collective can do. Like, there's evidence of you doing what you were doing. This person is trying to figure out ways. They're also like trying to look for guidance or help. They only want to come towards you because they don't want to go to jail. So this could be jail out here or a spiritual jail. So them trying to do this, nothing changed. Their plans got interrupted and was put to a stop. Now they're trying to figure out a way how to get out of this because they're afraid, the tire reverse, they're afraid they don't want to go to jail. So they're trying to figure out a way to prevent themselves, to prevent them going to jail or being trapped or preventing their castles, their environment, their reputation, their community from falling. But they already got caught. She said, give that back. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> also, all right. If this person is going to come towards you or if they're trying to come towards you, they're going to do it with something that in their mind would deem heartfelt because this lantern, it looks like a heart. Let me see if you can see that. You see the lantern that the hermit is holding? It's a heart. This person wants to make it seem like they're being guided by love and light, but that's a trick. That's an illusion. That's another reason why the archangels are around you. It's going to, it's because it's like you... First of all, you don't believe in God. You put money first. You did all of this to the collective. You do, you're in so much drama and chaos. And you're preventing what needs to happen, happen. Um, you don't want a cycle to change. And now you want to, like, go towards a collective and be like, oh, you know, heartfelt, heartfelt, you know, love, love, love. But the archangels know that that's not true. God knows that's not real. You're just trying to use your heart, right? Like you're you're utilizing your heart in the worst ways possible just to get yourself out of this tower, just to prevent this tower. So it's like this person is trying to abuse love or like the sentiment of love. They're trying to abuse that just to benefit themselves, to get themselves out of this 
whatever's about to happen to them, they're just trying to use that to their advantage. And that's like, that's not what love is for. Right? That's, that's not, not, that's, oh my God. That's why you're so protected. Like this person will do anything for money. And I'm saying anything. Tricking, lie, plot, scheme, steal, manipulate, scam. Right? And it's like the entire time that they were doing this, they were being watched. They were being side-eyed by God. What was that? Something just flipped. The Empress Reverse. Yeah, so we have she is obsessed with you and the Empress Reverse. This is definitely a karmic feminine. This, this karmic feminine wanted the kind of lifestyle where she'll ring a bell and people will come at her beck and call. Like, I don't know, this is somebody who, like, would, they wanted to live, like, a very lavish lifestyle, very, like, bourgeois, very, like, I don't know, like, like, in the dream, I was just talking about how this woman invited me to a party, but she told me, right, she was like, it's very low-key, you don't have to get dressed up or anything. But when I went to the party, everybody was wearing gowns and tuxedos and, you know, long gloves and earrings and necklaces. And the party was like in a boathouse, right? Like people who have money, money have boathouses, right? Things like that. This is the kind of person like, this is the lifestyle that they wanted. Gowns and, you know, lavish jewelry, a lavish lifestyle, a lavish home. That this is what they wanted. That's why they put money first because they they love that they idolize money. That's what I was trying to say earlier. They idolize money. It's like to them, money is everything. This could be a karmic mother, or it's just like they're not nurturing at all. That's crazy. It it was definitely an older woman that invited me to a party. This person doesn't care about themselves because there's this guy here that's chasing a bunny and she's not even looking at the guy. She doesn't care. She's just ringing her bell. All right, whatever. Like, I don't know. I feel like this person also puts burdens on other people and she just doesn't care because as long as she's got her cake, she's going to eat it. It's kind of like Marie. Marie Is it Marie Antoinette? So Marie Antoinette, if you don't know anything about Marie Antoinette, um, you should definitely watch the movie with Kirsten Dunst, though. Um, Marie Antoinette, she would, like, have these lavish parties and eat cake and drink wine. And, like, she just didn't really care about the people. But she kept raising the taxes of the people. And, like, the people um, were, like, starving and dirty and hungry. Meanwhile, she was, like, eating cake and living. She just didn't care. Like, and everybody had all these burdens especially financial burdens or whatever kind of burdens were in their environment. She just didn't care. And like in the movie, at one point she was like, ah, ha ha, just, just let them eat cake. And people are just like, we can't, we can't live off of cake. We need bread. We need cheese. We need meats. We need, we're dying out here. And she's just like, eh, okay. That's not really my problem. This is somebody who doesn't care about other people's problems because it has nothing to do with her. All she cares about is money and plotting and scamming and scheming and living a lavish lifestyle, right? And just, she just doesn't care. That's crazy. She, the Empress reversed with she's obsessed with you. And this person has the audacity to be obsessed with you. And this person is still trying to like embarrass you in some way. Be careful if this person invites you to a party, right? Because it's like, they'll tell you one thing. So it's giving like... This is somebody who will invite you to a party and they'll be like, oh, it's a costume party, right? So you'll go in a costume and you're the only one in a costume. And everyone's like, um, okay, whatever. But it's like, I don't know. It just somehow God finds a way to turn that into your favor because instead of everybody like, oh, look at it. It's a collective. They're wearing a costume, blah, blah, blah. People still want to talk to you. I feel like that's one of the reasons why this person is so obsessed with you, this Empress in reverse, is because no matter what they do to embarrass you, it just doesn't work. 
it's like they they can't find a way to embarrass you and it like really pisses them off. But again, whatever this person has been doing, whatever they're doing, people see that. They're continuously getting caught. People around her are tired, they're exhausted, they're like, they're not happy, they're miserable. I don't know, they're just over it. I feel like people are tired of this mother figure, this empress in reverse, this she that is obsessed with you. People are tired. People can see her for who she really is, for what she really is. But I feel like she's trying to like switch something by like love, by using like the sentiments of love. So if she's, this could be a karmic mother figure with the empress because the empress is usually like a, like a mother. Like it's always like shown as like a woman pregnant. But like, I feel like, so if this is a karmic mother, she could be trying to use that to her to her advantage, right? Because like, oh, I'm a mother, you know, you're my child, um, blah, 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 love, 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 love. They might even love bomb you or like make you feel like guilty because they're a mother and it's like, you know, I've done, bless you, like I've done so much, I've done so much, you know, it's just so hard and blah, 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 blah. But I feel like they just make things worse for themselves. It's like they keep doing these things where people can clearly see what it is that they're doing. She, she said, no. So this person could also be like throwing tantrums because like every time they try to do something slick, they just people see right through it. They're also getting mad because if they're trying to embarrass you, it's not working. People can see what it is that they're trying to do. It's like, okay, you're just trying to embarrass the collective or you're just trying to do something to the collective. And it's like making her mad, like, like tantrum, like she's throwing tantrums because it's like, we already know you're trying to embarrass the collective and we're not going to have any parts of that. So that could be another thing that's ended her continuous attempts to trying to embarrass you. God put an end to that. It's like God is waking people up around this um, Empress in Reverse. So that way they can see exactly what this Empress in Reverse is doing and what she tries to do. Especially like towards you, the collective. Trying to embarrass you. Trying to, like, everybody can see who she really is. Someone who is just a bully, puts people down, embarrasses you, only cares about money, um, uses love, the sentiments of motherhood, the, you know, to, to her advantage so that way things don't change for her. She's, everybody sees. And on top of that, they can see that there's like this weird obsession that she has with you. It's like, ew, why are you a woman obsessed with another woman? Or you're a man obsessed with another man? Like it just, or it doesn't even matter. It could be like a man obsessed with a woman or a woman obsessed with a man. Either way, it's like, why are you so obsessed with another person? But in this case, it would be like... Uh, 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 a mother figure, a karmic mother figure that is like obsessed with the collective. Let me see. Here, you want a hug, baby? You want a hug? I'll hug you. I'll hug you. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. I got you. Mama said, Mama said. You feel better? Hold up, baby. I'm almost done, okay? I promise. Space. <laughs> Be careful with the book, though. Hold on, I gotta pull it out here. Here. <laughs> All right. Let me. Um... Something could have happened around Christmas time or or New Year's. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or this person, oh my gosh. 
they were trying to do something by Christmas or New Year's or by this upcoming Christmas, this upcoming New Year's. It has to do with trying to prove a point that it's like it's it just doesn't make sense. Whatever point that they're trying to prove, it, it just doesn't make sense. It's not people are just like, what is the points of that? What point are you trying to prove? It's it's weird. The Hierophant. God is all up around you. You're protected. Um, there's something about a contract as well. So, oh dear. If this person tried to like do, tried to commit fraud with contracts, they could be going to jail for fraud just to get money from those contracts. Like, for example, like you see it all the time. People would fake life insurances right um just to get the money right that's fraud there is this movie on netflix and the movie it's actually a really good movie the twist is like crazy i forgot what it's called actually let me try and look it up right now while i tell you there is this movie on netflix and hold on this woman, she works with like nursing homes, but what she does is she'll find these senior citizens, right? Who have a lot, a lot of money, but have like no family members. And she'll like do these fraudulent things with contracts and things like that and have them sign off their money and their wills and things like that. So that way she gets everything. And it's so funny because, so let's say this person does this, these things, right? Like they scam people for money. They do whatever they can for money, blah, 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 right? But what happens is, I'm going to spoil it. I don't care. Whatever. Hold on. Um, hold on. Let me look this up. Movie. Oh, okay, so the movie's called I Care A Lot. It's it's actually a really good movie. Yeah, I Care A Lot. And it's got Rosamund Pike. She plays Marla Grayson, right? That's like the main, like that's who the movie is about, right? And she pretends like she cares and like she's so nice and she and sweet and she's like doing what's best for the people, blah, 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 blah. So she just scams these old people out of their money, especially ones that she feels or she thinks that they have no living relatives, they're by themselves, they're, they're alone. And she makes them seem like they're, uh, they're losing their mind, that they can't handle their finances, blah, blah, blah. Like she does these things where she takes control just for their money, right? So this is what this is giving, right? Like a lot of fraud, contracts, things like that, right? Um, but God is protecting you. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, so she does that, blah, blah, blah. Towards the end, like, she, she tries to do it to this one woman. Like, scam her out of her finances, her money. But what she doesn't realize is that this woman was like, I don't know, like, she used to work for their mob, or she was like an FBI agent, or like, or a secret spy, or something like that. And she was just like living her life, like, undercover, or something like that. So it, it looked like she was by herself, but it basically kind of like blew her cover. Um, Marla, the one who was like scamming old people. So she tried to scan this old lady and basically she scammed her the wrong one, put it like that. So that's what um, my whole entire point is. Like if she, if this woman tried to do something to you on behalf of money, she did it to the wrong one because God is definitely not gonna let that happen. God is making sure that like, God put an end to this. With the Hierophant here, your magic is protected, your abundance, your blessings, your finances, everything you have is protected. And this woman is, like, obsessed with that. It's, like, everything she tried to do to, like, hurt you, to manipulate you, to get money, to lie, to embarrass you, it just did not work.
She basically tried to do this to the wrong one, which is you, the chosen one. That's why this woman had no idea what she was getting herself into when it came to you. And this is a result. So be cautious because this woman is just like, I feel like this woman is like dumbfounded. Like how, how it's worked every single time with every single person. How? And it's because, you know, you can't mess with the chosen one. That's why. And now it's like blowing up this person. Everything that they've been doing, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's being shown. They got caught. So yeah, that's that. I think this is going to be the end of the reading. So I'm going to watch that movie now. Definitely watch it. It says, it's, the movie is called I Care A Lot. And the ending is not, if I remember, the ending is not good. But um, anyways, definitely check it out. It's on Netflix. So. Um, let me get one of these and then I'll close the reading. Oh my God, there's an eye here on this um, tablet, iPad. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. There's an eye right there. Yeah. Mommy. Yes, baby. Where'd you get that? Hold on. Mama. Yes, mama. Who's that? It's mama. <laughs> yes. Mwah, I love you. Baby? That was school, baby. Done. School. <laughs> She's so cute. Spooky. Alright, this is the last card, my sweet love. No, don't put it up there. Okay, this is the last one. Oh, they were hoping that the tides were turned for them by Christmas or New Year's of this year. This upcoming Christmas or New Year's, but it's like nothing. A time to share. This person's greedy. They don't like to share anything. That's what I'm saying. The Empress in reverse. They want to with Marie Antoinette, right? Because this is kind of giving Marie Antoinette. She didn't care about her people. She didn't care about the burdens that she put onto them. She didn't care about, you know, giving them food and like even bread or cheese, very simple things like that. She didn't care about that. She just spent all the money and she even raised their taxes so she can party more. She just cared about partying, eating cake, having lavish parties, um, talking and connecting with people and just like, ha, 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 bougie, 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 hmm, right? It's like that. Uh, so yeah, a time to share, 30. I'll read that in a minute. Uh, and then we have 43, the ending that opens the space for the beginning. The ending that opens the space for the beginning. The ending that opens the space for the beginning. This person, yeah, with the tower reverse, they don't want something to change. They're not trying to bring in this new, they just want to hold on to like their, uh, I don't know, made up lavish lifestyle, their made up lavish bougie ways, like. They don't want to like stop putting burdens on people. They just want to keep things as it is, right? They want to be that person that like they'll ring a bell and people will come to them beck and call. That's that's what they want, and they don't want that to change. They don't want that to end. But people can see that's all they really care about. You just want people to boss around, and you just want to have parties and eat cake and not care about anyone else and just stay selfish. 30, a time to share. They don't, and they don't want to share anything. Okay, a time to share. We may love the road we take alone, and on that lonely road, we find the truth of who we are. 
But until we allow another being to be close to us, we will not find out who we have become in relation to others. It is time to form bonds and relate and rediscover your own thoughts and feelings in response to those of another. It's time for this tower, and this person doesn't want that. There will be times when there are shared experiences, their pleasures amplified because they are mutual. This is what I'm talking about. Like, this person wants to, like, use people, and but nobody's happy. And then they're wondering, like, oh, what's wrong? And if you tell this person what's wrong, it's like it goes in one ear, not the other, because they don't want to hear about that, because they don't care about that, because they just still want to be like, oh, I just, I don't know. They just want to still use people, and nobody's happy around them. That's why I feel like this person could be trying to use sentiments of love to keep people around them, but nobody wants to be around them because nobody's happy. Um, this is the true joy of companionship and friendship, that that sense that the world is seen and experienced and even understood for a small moment by two or more people. All is sweeter because the deep longing to share with another is finally fulfilled. This is exactly what I just said. This person doesn't like sharing. They don't want to share. They want to keep things as is. They want to bully. They want to, I don't know. They just, it, it's like, and they're the only ones in their world, but nobody in their world is happy. Like in the Wizard of Oz, or not the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, the Wizard, no. Alice in Wonderland, the Red Queen. She's like this grumpy, dominating, controlling person. And she doesn't let anybody do anything around them. And nobody's happy, but everyone's too scared to say something and walk away. 43, the ending that opens the space for the beginning. You finally come to that place after so much grief and denial that it would be better for you to let go than to continue to hold on. I feel like everything I'm saying is just being said again. And so you did. You watched it leave, and it never once looked back at you or returned to your hands. This person's trying to hold on to things that people want to be free from. Then you begin to find a way back to yourself you lost when all your energy was poured into the need to stay connected. A beginning is on its way, made more magical and beautiful because you made space for it. The stuff that held on so tight had no space to receive. Now you know that when you let go, space is made, and into that space will walk the wonder. I don't know. This person cannot see beyond money and lavishness. This That's like a big, big thing. They just, they don't care. All they care about is money. Money, money, money. And living the good life. But it's like, okay. they're living the good life by themselves because everyone's, Nobody wants that. And they could be trying to, like, get close to you because they feel like if they get close to you, it'll bring people around them, it'll fix things for them, and then they'll be able to live the lavish life again, that good life again. It's like they need you because it's like people are attracted to you. People want to be – they they want your attention. You see what I'm saying? Like, in the dream, I was at this party, and the – whole reason that I was invited to the party was so that I could be embarrassed and right but ha 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 everybody wanted to talk to me right everyone was like drawn to me so it's like this person wants to get close to you because people are drawn to you and if this person is close to you and since people are drawn to you you will you know bring people around them this person is lonely they don't have anyone and you cannot even be trying to, but people are just drawn to you. People want to be around you. That's what they want. They want you to bring your light. It's like you're a light and there's like moths, right? You know how moths are attracted to the light? It's like if they can just take you, the light, and bring it to their environment, naturally, of course, the moths will follow the light. All right? So this is a reading. Hope it helps. Bye.